What's cracking everybody? My name is Matt Kraken and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys that you do not need expensive pro grade lighting to have well lit clean looking videos. It helps but let's face it, most of us are balling on a budget, well at least I am, and when it comes to whatever bit of cash I have laying around, I'd probably rather spend it on better cameras, audio equipment, new peripherals, and most importantly, PC upgrades. So the purpose of this video is to show you guys how to properly light a subject, as well as show you how you can use everyday household lamps and lighting fixtures to achieve that look. Kinda how I did here. Here's a look at a pretty standard method of lighting a subject and it's called the three point lighting. Like I said, it's pretty common and it's actually the method I'm using right now. So I'm going to start by showing you guys a bit of footage of my setup here and you guys can take a look and see how I achieve this look using the tools that I have. Right, so there it is, my super budget lighting setup. Breaking it down, you may have noticed that I have an IKEA floor lamp, which I pretty much unscrewed the base and popped it up there on the wall horizontally. To hang it, I used shoelaces and thumbtacks, which is very budget, but it fits the premise of this video, so it works. This light works very well as my main key light because it's very long and it's diffused perfectly, so it's a perfect key light. I kinda wish I had two of them. But unfortunately I don't, so to my left here acting as my fill light is just a standard desk lamp you could find at Walmart or Amazon or Target. And what it's doing is it's acting as a fill light to fill the shadows on the left side of my face that my key light cannot. The best part about this lamp is it doubles as a USB charger. I can charge my phone or anything USB and uh, I don't think your Elgato key light can do that, can it? And finally, I'm using a directional desk lamp here behind me as my backlight. What that's doing is it's kind of separating me from the background and it's adding some nice highlights here and the top of my hair that you may not have noticed unless I didn't even mention it. One important thing you may have noticed is that my key light and my fill light are diffused. In this scenario, by lampshades, this makes it so it decreases the harsh shadows on my face and it spreads light very evenly, making it for a much nicer look. Diffusing your lights is very important. Pro tip, you can diffuse lighting by using a white pillowcase, a white sheet, or even a piece of printer paper. Just be careful while doing so because bulbs can get warm and burn things. So now let's talk a little bit about the lights behind me that you can see. All right guys, so right behind me, I'm using four bulbs called the Senglid RGB bulbs. They come in a four pack just like this. I got this one at Best Buy and uh, they work just like the Philips Hue bulbs, but they are a bit cheaper. That's the advantage of these. They come with a four pack plus the hub, and the Philips Hue comes with a three, three pack plus the hub. Um, these work just as well. They even come with a smartphone app, just like the Philips Hue bulbs. And in my opinion, they work perfectly. So the reason we use lightings like this in our streams and our YouTube video, you guys already know, is the advantage of adding some atmosphere and a little bit of feng shui, and it just looks super cool compared to having nothing on. So that's the difference there. This is with them off, obviously, and this is with them on. So it adds a little bit of feng shui, like I said, and it looks pretty cool. But anyway, guys, the point of me making this video is to show you guys how very important good lighting is for your videos, and also showing you guys that you may already have some resources laying around your house and you didn't even know it. And I feel like I am uh, speaking too much with my hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them down here and talk a little bit about my setup and what I'm using. I'm currently using a Canon M50 mirrorless camera with a HD60 Pro capture card, which is probably better than what most of your average streamers are using in their setup, but pretty comparable to what most YouTubers are probably using in their YouTube videos. I feel like YouTube has a bit of higher standard for better looking video quality and better looking content overall. But anyway guys, the point I'm trying to make is that good lighting is universal across all cameras, whether it's big, small, expensive, or cheap. And to prove that, 
I've got this cheapo 720p webcam from like 2012 that I had laying around. And I'm going to show you guys the importance and the difference it makes to have good lighting, especially with something like this. Right, so I see a lot of this from new streamers and there's totally nothing wrong with just using what you have to your advantage. Like I always say, having a webcam is better than not having a webcam. So showing a little bit of something is always better than showing nothing at all. This look here works, but you can improve on this a lot more. So this is what my room looks like with just its natural lighting. And like I said, I see this a lot with new streamers that are in a dark room and the only thing lighting their face is their computer monitor. Here's how you can improve on that. And this is what it looks like with all the same lighting I was using with my Canon M50. All right, so here we go. Just with those few lamps on and a little bit of feng shui in the background, it's not looking great because it's an old cheap webcam, but it's looking a lot better. And this is what some people have to start off with. And that's fine. That's totally fine. Use the tools you have to your advantage. And that's the purpose of this video, taking a few lamps that you have laying around the house and using them as your key lighting. And that's it. There we go. Well, there it is, guys. I hope I was able to shed some light on the subject, pun fully intended. If this video was helpful and inspired you to update your stream setup lighting or your YouTube setup lighting, then let me know in the comments below. If this video was not helpful for you and you did not like it or you do not like me, then let me know as well in the comments below because this is also good information for me. As always, I'm streaming on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon Pacific Standard Time, where I'm mostly doing stream designs or animations or photo editing and all that good stuff. Feel free to stop by, ask me anything on improving your stream, photo, video, design content. I would be more than happy to answer any and all of your guys' questions. Also guys, if you're interested in some streaming overlays, whether they be free or custom commission work, go ahead and check out my website in the description below where you can find some designs by myself. As always guys, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.